Halloween is probably my least anticipated event every year because of being a scaredy cat, and ghost stories don't vibe with me in a good way due to my imaginations. But with all the courage to do a Halloween special, I have made a video listing down some of the best horror and supernatural BL series and movies you must watch this Halloween. If you also have other recommendations, feel free to share it on the comment section below. Before that, some of the BL series and movies that will be mentioned in this video might not be available on your country due to geo-blocked restriction. In order to watch those particular BL series, you might want to sign up to ExpressVPN to unlock those geo-blocked BL dramas on your country while also surfing the web safely and anonymously. ExpressVPN also has an ongoing promo for Thai BL viewers if you use our official link on the description below. Without further ado, let's get started. First on our list, he she it. It's a horror miniseries consists of 3 episodes so binge watching it isn't an issue for those who have less time to spare. This miniseries is where we first saw Jeff acting on a BL drama and his chemistry with gameplay is through the roof. Even though I love his new partner in his upcoming BL, I would love to see him again in a full pledge series with gameplay if there's a chance in the future with a different genre from ingredients. He she it follows the story of Mike and Beam who seem like a close friends from the get go, but their relationship changes after a kiss that would haunt Mike forever. Based on what I have seen on a fast forward manner, the series only had a limited budget for its production but its story is worth it based on the reviews. He she it can be watched on YouTube. Number 2, The Blue Hour. Before we got off Gun in Puppy Honey way back in 2016, The Blue Hour featured a different on screen couple Ob Gun in 2015. I first stumbled on this movie a couple of years ago and was planning on watching it until I've seen its trailer. I was horrified with it and never watched it until today because of its eerie aura. Its reviews said that this movie might be confusing but it's definitely worth watching. The Blue Hour follows the story of Tam, a bullied teenager, who befriends Pum at a haunted abandoned pool. Their relationship started good at first but it turns to a darker scene afterwards. The Blue Hour can be watched on Amazon Prime Video. Number 3, After Sundown. It's quite sad that we won't get a CZ new news new series later this year because of postponement but fortunately, we got a horror movie from them this year. We are quite spoiled with their romance comedy shows so giving us a horror movie is definitely a welcome change. After Sundown follows the story of Plo Eng, a young man who is prophesied to have misfortunes in the near future but a soulmate would prevent that from happening. Plo Eng's family pick Rawi not minding even if he's a man as long as the misfortunes would go away. But as Rawi continues to live in their house, he is plagued by nightmares and haunted by a spirit. Will there be peace on their lives? As of now, there's no official streaming platforms yet but it's rumored to be released on Netflix very soon. Number 4, Dear Doctor, unlike with BL shows I have mentioned earlier, this BL series isn't focused on ghost stories but more on its supernatural theme involving death and grim reaper. It was one of the underrated BL dramas of 2022 because of its unique story. Dear Doctor follows the story of Dr. Pracken, a well-known surgeon, who can see a grim reaper whenever he's trying to save a patient. Once a grim reaper shows up, he already knows that fate has defeated him. Between his job of saving the lives and his romantic feelings for the Grim Reaper, he sure has a tough choice to make. Dear Doctor, I'm coming for Soul can be watched on Ikee and YouTube. Number 5. Something in my room. This is one of the few BLs I haven't finished watching not because I didn't like it, but because of being a scaredy cat. Even though it's a rom-com supernatural BL, I still got scared with some of the scenes. To be honest, 
I actually liked the first few episodes because it brought a different take of ghost stories in a BL. Something in my room follows the story of Pat, a new guy in town, who meets Bob, an amnesiac ghost who forgets how he died. The two will have to solve the mystery of his death within 49 days or else, Bob will become an evil ghost. This is quite promising but sadly, I don't have anyone to watch with. Something in my room can be watched on YouTube and Channel 3. Number 6. Ghost Host, Ghost House. It's another Thai BL series which aired in 2022 and there are quite a lot of people who really liked it when it was still airing. Even though it has ghost characters in it, the main characters aren't fighting evil spirits so we're safe to watch it. Ghost Host Ghost House follows the story of Coin, a live streamer who has a passion on taking up challenge such as hunting ghosts. During one encounter, he meets Plume, a young man who understands his feelings of loss. What could be the possible end game for the two? Ghost Host Ghost House can be watched on YouTube. Number 7. Peach of Time. If it's only pure romance with a touch of supernatural genre, then Peach of Time is the one you are looking for. This BL also marks the first time where Jimmy and Tommy are not the main couple in a show since it's a collaboration between South Korea and Thailand. Peach of Time follows the story of Peach, a young man from Thailand, who dares to meet his friend in Korea, you know. Peach soon realizes that something is off with his friend and his mother but later on, he learns that you know is already dead. Now wandering as a ghost, what would Peach do with his feelings for his friend who's already a ghost? Peach of Time can be watched on Wii TV. Number 8, Red Wine in the Dark Night. This BL movie might have horrendous ratings on the internet, but I actually liked it even though the whole show was quite weird. I never doubted Fluke as an actor in this movie showcased his great skills on his craft. Red Wine in the Dark follows the story of Wine, a young man with an angelic physique, who meets Night, a creature of the night, a vampire. The two share a special bond and their feelings grow crossing the point of no return. This BL movie is definitely worth watching. Red Wine in the Dark Night can be watched on Netflix for some regions. As a bonus, the first episode of Shadow, another Thai BL series with horror genre in it, will air tonight so it's definitely perfect for the Halloween. I may not be fan of horror movies and shows but some of them are really interesting to watch. You just need a lot of courage to do it if you're alone. Which of these horror BLs are your favorites? Thank you for watching. That's it and see you on the next one.